Now, there's a reason why I got told. Picture I put up about a week and a half ago where I was hooked up to a tow truck. Yeah, that was me. The reason I got towed was because I, I had the clutch done about a month and a half ago on this truck. And um, the shop that did the clutch, they over tightened the bell housing bolts. And a few of the bolts break. I'll say about seven of the bolts break. And the transmission was just hanging down. So, when I stopped to check it, I noticed that the bell housing was cracked. And um, a mechanic friend I know, he came out there because I wasn't too far from him. So the plan was to drop the transmission on the side of the highway, drill out the bolts, put some new bolts in there, and keep it rolling. I went, went under there to um, do that, get a find out that the bell housing will crack. And it was at the point where you couldn't put that bell housing back in there. Because the transmission not going to bolt back up. It just going to vibrate. So at that point, I had no choice but to um, tow the truck. Now, I had already have that 10-speed transmission. I think I had bought it about two or three weeks prior to that incident. So instead of fixing the automatic transmission, instead of buying a new bell housing and drilling them bolts out, what I end up doing is um, drilling the bolts out and just putting in the 10-speed transmission. Okay, that was the plan originally to switch it out. So that just let me do it a lot sooner than I had planned on doing it. But that's the whole reason behind that tow job right there. Also, the clutch was damaged. So if I had decided to put the automatic transmission back in there, I would end up having to buy a new clutch. That clutch 1300 and he only been in the truck a month and a half. So instead of spending another 1300 for another automatic clutch, it's cheaper to buy a manual clutch. So overall, I'm satisfied I went the direction I went. I still have the automatic clutch. It's no good. I still have the automatic transmission. But um the bell housing on the transmission damage. What I might end up doing is um getting a bell housing for that transmission and either sell it or just keep it. Or if I know somebody who needs it, I'll just give it to them or something something like that.